Welcome to the Soul Infused Monday show. I'm so excited that you're here. And today is the last live show of the Soul Infused Monday show this year. So <clears throat> super excited that you're here. I always say, I know it takes a moment. If you're watching the replay, do me a favor, leave a comment below and say hello so that you know you're here. And if you see and hear me clearly, like and love the like and love button so I know that you're here. So it's just about the holidays are basically not even around the corner. They're literally nearly already here. And if you're new to my show or to me, my name is Sonia Buero de la Torre, and I'm here to support you to really get in touch with your authentic self, who you are being, and live a vibrant, confident, and free life in alignment with your soul. And today's topic is three energy hacks to supercharge your holidays. What does that actually mean? Right? So I know that for many, 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 regardless if you're celebrating Christmas, if you are following a certain religion, is, is Christmas is a time for you to, that's important to you or not, from an energetical perspective, it is very, very, in, it's a very intense time and people are getting influenced by it if you like it or not, and a lot of people are really stressed out. A lot of people, I see it every year. So if you're just jumping in, click the love and like button so I know you're here and leave a comment below right now so that we can celebrate this day together. Hi, Melissa, good morning, fantastic. So, it's an intense time for many, and if you are someone who is challenged around those days emotionally or just a lot on your plate you feel like you're running around like a mad person i shared the soul infused holiday series last week where i shared really everything that you can dream of in order to help you to have a soul infused and relaxed and joyful uh, holiday season so i hope you check that out hi linda who else is here okay i'm gonna take a sip of water and we're gonna jump right in <clears throat> okay, everything is energy, therefore, it's really the energy hacks that I'm going to give you are simple that you can implement anytime, anywhere. Also, it doesn't have to be on the holidays, obviously. But what happens when we are stressed out? What happens when we are in intense emotional, energetic turmoil, so to say, and because you're also a highly sensitive being, we have like antennas, like even if you are not stressed out, but people around you, it will affect you. A good example is myself. So myself, I don't have holiday stress, Christmas stress. Christmas is not even very important to me, but that's not the point. I went uh, I had a tennis class this morning and I went shopping afterwards, grocery shopping for the week so that I had enough to eat. And um, I noticed how busy it was and people were running around like crazy as if there would be no tomorrow and if there would be no food tomorrow, <laughs> you know, like it's really, it's always mind blowing. And even though I was not under pressure, not stressed or anything, because I'm always as well sensitive to energy, I felt like myself starting to rush and starting to like, oh my God, kind of thing. And then I noticed this like, what am I doing? Like, this is not me. This is my surroundings. And then I did some of the things that I'm actually going to teach you. So I shifted my energy very quickly because that's obviously what I do. And maybe you have stress or maybe you are experiencing others. So I would be curious before I uh, share the first energy hack. Hi Gail, hi Lynn, hi Sue, and fantastic, good to hey, UK is in the house. Okay, do you experience some sort of stress, anxiety, maybe loneliness, sadness? Some people feel sad around the holidays because maybe there's someone missing or they don't have deep connections. There's so many things that are going on. So share with me where you're at in your Christmas or holidays, regardless if you celebrate it or not, so that I have a sense and we can also celebrate this together in whichever state you're in. Hi, Kelly. Fantastic. <coughs> so 
the first thing that I'm going to recommend is when you are stressed out, when you are kind of like, and stressed out is not necessarily a bad feeling for some, but somehow a little bit overspun, just too much. Yeah, you want to take time for yourself. That's not even an energy hack yet. I'm just going to say it. Don't go into the mind loop. Oh yeah, I'm going to take it. after the holidays. It's like, well, I have to cook. I have to do this. I have to go shopping. I have to get gifts. I have to do this. Especially as women, when you have a family, I have to do everything myself. And you totally, totally go out of your own way, like out of yourself. And you don't take care of yourself. You got to have a balance. If you overgive, you will resent in some way and you will not enjoy the holidays as much as you can because you're not centered, you're not present, and you're not in alignment with your own needs. Super important. I just want to put it out there. And the one first energy hack that I want to say to you, super simple, can work right away, depending on where your state of being is, how much work you've done, how much this is maybe also a chronic deeper issue, it can work right away. So my first energy hack to have really nice and relaxed holidays is to relax your base chakra, okay? And for those who are familiar about with the base chakra, for those who have worked with me before, you know right away what I mean, however, maybe you don't know what I mean. So the base chakra, let's be, without going too much into the system, because it's a very complicated system, in the simplest form, our energy system has seven energy centers. And the bottom one, the base, the first chakra is called the base chakra. The base chakra is ground, that can ground you, is centered, and that's where also the trust is, the safety is where you feel you, you, you have solidity. So when you're stressed out or anxious or, or go through something, you lose yourself. What the base does energetically is just like this. So you're kind of like, you're tense, your butt is a little squeezed, and you can even notice, do it right now, you just relax your base. And you take a deep breath. And don't be attached to it changing everything right away or having a huge shift. Don't be attached to anything. Just simply do it. If you don't even know what you're doing, trust that you're doing it by simply setting the intention to relax your base chakra, to drop in, to open up. You can imagine it from a physical perspective. You, you relax your butt, you relax your, the, the muscles on your genitals, like as if you would... Oh, sit down. If you're sitting, you can open up your kind of energy so that you really sink into that chair that you're sitting or car, maybe you're driving. If you're standing, feel the feet on the ground and let the base chakra really open. And I can feel that part of you are doing it because I can feel the energy shifting. So pay attention to it. It will relax your system. It will help you to be more present and grounded. And it will prevent you from kind of being all over the place and being more solid and grounded. Okay. Do you feel the difference? Let me know. Hi, Kelly. It's time for yourself during the holidays. Yes. Ah, and Linda's saying she has been sick a couple of days, so I'm a little stressed to finish the things that I plan to get done. I can relate. I was sick all week last week. And uh, catching up, and yeah, I relate to you. So it is, I always like being sick. <laughs> that sounds weird. But it gets you to a point to really reflect on the things that are important and to really take care of yourself. And to get humble to the point is that we are often really caught up and we lose ourselves in stuff and things that are not really important. So even though it stresses me out sometimes as well because I have so many things on my plate I want to get done. When we're sick, it gives us, you know, a forced opportunity to go inward and to really take care of ourselves. So hope this helps. So have you been relaxing your base right now? Yeah. So that's the first energy hack. The second energy hack is using your breath in a very simple, 
form and counting. This is so simple and I know that even though you might know this, there are many times you still don't do it because even though it doesn't take a lot of time, your mind when you're stressed out and busy will tell you, I don't have time for this. Who can relate to this? Click the love button if you can relate to this right now. Click the love button if you can relate to this. So we're gonna do this together. Hi Enrico, Enrique. Debbie is here, Kathy is here, hello, hello, hello. People are still jumping in. So if you missed the beginning, go back and watch the replay. And uh, we're continuing with the second energy hack. Yeah, a lot of people are resonating. I see it, love, 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 love. Okay, fantastic. Ah, relax your base again. So take a deep breath and count until 10. So, and obviously you can count quickly, you can count slowly, depending on the volume of your capacity to breathe. I have a capacity to breathe very long and deep because of the work that I've been doing for so long. So 10 counts might be a long, uh, you know, might be a lot for you. If you feel like you cannot count until 10, then count until five, right? But it's very simple. You breathe in deeply, do it now, and you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. Breathe out. Why the counting? The counting keeps the mind busy and it gives guidance. And it helps you to take it a little bit longer than you usually would. And you want to do this three times in a row. So I'm going to do it with you because I cannot do it, show it, and count and do it with you. So I invite you to do it. We're going to do it one time together. So breathe in. And breathe out. And there's no right or wrong if you want to hold it, depending on where you're at. If you're very stressed out, usually you don't even breathe deeply, so you might even count to two and you're done, right? So count, a little extra tip, pause for a moment before you breathe out. And set the intention to connect in. It's also helpful if you close your eyes. Breathe in, count. Pause for a moment before you breathe out. And it doesn't matter if you listen only, you don't have to see anything. You can do this while you drive, you can do that while you're cooking, you can do that while you're shopping, you can do that anywhere, anytime. And if you're stressed out today, do it as many times as possible, okay? Any questions? Let me know if you have any questions. It's the last time this year that you can ask me questions. It's the last day life here. It's my last working day. If you want my support, my guidance, do it now while you're here on the call and leave a comment below. And before I share the third energy hack, okay, I just mentioned something before that I want to repeat. One of the things that you can do to really enjoy the holidays, to really feel great about the holidays, is to connect to what's really important to you. Why are you celebrating? Or maybe you're not, but you know, there's some, something is going on this week for most everyone. What's really important to you? What's the meaning behind your celebration this week. You know, I, the, I never really enjoyed Christmas when I was growing up. When I was a little child, yes, but then when I was getting a little older because it was always like a forced celebration and I was forced to go and, and be with my relatives and, and do things that weren't in alignment with me. I never liked the idea of everybody has to have gifts for everyone. It gets so, it's so stressful. So I never really, yeah, that was never meaningful to me. What is meaningful to me is to connect with myself and my loved ones, to celebrate with them, to spend quality time and share appreciation. 
And you can do that with the gifts, with the food, without the stress, right? So ask yourself, what's really meaningful to you? That gives us a moment to really go back to connecting what's your truth. Why are you doing what you're doing? Is it worth it? Or would you rather, instead of running around like a mad person, to get some gifts? And I'm not saying you're doing this, but I've seen many. Or get the food perfect. Would you maybe rather sit down with your child or go on a walk with your husband or just share with each other what you're grateful for for the year and put the emphasis more on that versus on getting the food all perfect or having the best gift or you know, whatever is there. So, and it's a collective thing. There's so much pressure from outside. Sometimes we don't even notice that it's happening. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just checking if you have any questions before I share the, la the, the last hack. Uh, Candace say, not stressed out about the holiday, but my sister wants to purchase a car and not sure if this is the right time and not sure what to worry about. So if your sister wants to do something, you shouldn't worry about it anyway. So it's her responsibility. If you want to help her, that's fine. But I do not necessarily know why you would worry about that. So I'm just, that's the first thing that comes up for me. Like, um, it's, it's her decision. And if, if she's doubting it, then, then you definitely can help her get clarity. Um, but if there's a particular question or I don't, you know, see the whole portion, let me know. Gail, the second hack is better than first for me. This year I get time just with my 16 year old, which is the first time in years. Wow, that's fantastic, Gail. Yeah, and you know, you use the hack that works for you. Choose anything and you know, like pick out. So thank you for sharing. And what an amazing, for the first time in 16 years, that's not nearly crazy, but what a wonderful, what a wonderful thing to close this year off and to celebrate. Uh, and it was saying, could we see the replay within the week? It is so powerful. Would love to do it every day to next week. So you can watch this replay as soon as we're done. So you can watch it all day long, all week long, forever. Well, forever, I don't know, not forever. But as soon as we're done, go back to this page. The replay will be here. Go to the video section. And there you'll find also all the other videos. Yeah, do it every day. Great remind us to think about what the holidays mean to us. Yeah, great, Kelly. Thank you for sharing. Okay, good. Last hack is, again, related to one of the chakras, and it's about the third eye. A lot of you might know about it, and if you're new to this, you can still apply it. The third hack is to really relax and open up your third eye so that it allows you to connect to your higher self versus being too caught up in the, you know, commercial stress, anxiety, all of that that's going on over the holidays. And a simple way to do that is first to know that you can do that. So your third eye is an energy center, it's the sixth energy center, it's a chakra here in the middle of your forehead. And first of all, you can just tune into that and you can massage it a little bit. And then when you massage your third eye, you wanna also relax your jaw. I can, I bet that more, like everybody has some sort of tension in your jaw or in your face or in your neck. Raise your hand. Even though I don't see your hand, I feel your hand. Raise your hand if you just experience that. Yeah, or click the logo like button or write me in the comment section. So relax your third eye, massage it upwards. Spread it a little bit, uh, relax your jaw. Uh, even you can even massage your neck a little bit if you want. And then close your eyes. If you're driving right now, you can do it without closing your eyes, obviously, or you wanna just stop for a moment. Thank you for the love. I say this often, but I want to repeat because it's joyful for me. When you click the love button, I see little hearts around my, on my screen. And that makes me happy. So you can click that as many times as you want, anytime throughout the live show. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. See the love, the heart, see? Relax your base, hack number two, and uh, number one. Take a deep breath, hack number two. Third, close your eyes. 
focus on that area of your third eye, focus on the area of your forehead and keep your eyes closed if you can and then turn your inner eye up and imagine that you expand this area and use your breath to support it. Expand that area around your third eye and imagine that you build a space around your head in front of your forehead, on the sides of your forehead and on the back of your forehead. And you give it expansion. You let it become wide. What it also helps do is relaxes the mental body. The mental body includes the thinking, the mind, and it kind of like gives a little bit of a relaxation and openness and expansion versus having to overthink all the time. Beautiful. And if you want to take it a step further, you can connect higher up to your higher self. And obviously I do that very short here with you right now to just give you the tools, you get to do them, right? Knowing them alone will, won't do anything and just trying it for 10 seconds and saying, oh, that doesn't work for me, that won't work obviously. You get to practice this, you can to practice this several times a day, especially if you're stressed out right now. And the best energy recommendation I can give you, even though it's not a direct energy recommendation is that you you are responsible for how you feel. You are responsible of what you create. So you are the creator and you are 100% responsible. So you have the power to shift and change and create anytime. So if you are outside of yourself constantly and doing everything for others and stressed out, you're actually giving your power away. You want to turn in, you want to dig deep, you want to, you know, there's more, there's certain things that are deeper layered that you get to do some deeper work, emotional, physical, energetical, mental, to really break free. However, these tools, if you use them on a regular basis, will make a huge difference. You can shift your energy anytime, anywhere. Does that make sense? What's landing here for you? So. Thanks very much for your advice. Very, very welcome, Adelaide. That's a nice name. I hope I pronounced it properly. Linda, me, Candace, me. <laughs> Great to remind us. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so the one thing that you can do to really supercharge your holidays is you combine the three energy hacks. You combine the three energy hacks. First, you relax your base. You take a deep breath. You count, you pause the breath, you release the breath, and you do that two more times. You breathe in, you pause, you relax, you release, and you do it a third time. You breathe in, you pause, you relax and release, and then you go up to your third eye, you relax, you open up, you open up, you expand, you expand it around your head. And you can reconnect to what's really meaningful and important to you. Oh, it feels so nice. Makes me want to sing. Okay. Before you jump off, so first of all, thank you for being with me here today. I know you have a lot on your plate. Today is Monday before Christmas. I appreciate you taking the time. I appreciate it that you're taking it for you because it's a gift to yourself. And obviously it's a gift for me that I get to celebrate and spend this time with you. So before we jump off, hold up here for a moment. Take a breath. Tune in. What's the most valuable thing you're getting out of this call today? What's landing? What's really making a difference for you? and leave a comment below before you leave. Do this right now and do it while you're practicing the energy hacks. And thank you so much for the hearts. I love, 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 love it. I love it. So while everybody is doing this, leave a comment below what's the most valuable thing, what's landing for you, what's making a difference. Also, if you're on the replay, I want to share one last thing. 
Oh, I want you to do one last thing. January 6th is going to be the first show in 2020. It gets goosebumps. It's going to be a very important show. I'm going to help you go through a process. Check out your emails. I'm going to send you something to prepare for it. A few steps so that you can have the most incredible year, the best year of your life. If you've been following me since January 2019 and you watched the first show I did, and I said, I, my intention is to have the best year of my life and I'm going to help you to have your best year, I accomplished that for me for sure. It was the most amazing year. It was the best year yet. And my intention is that 2020 is even better. I cannot even imagine. It's just, but, and if you want that, you want to stick with me. Come back every Monday. Do the things that, that we are, like 2020 will be a totally different game. Like it's, it's gonna, gonna be amazing. So I'm gonna jump off in just a minute. I just wanna see some of your takeaways. And if you haven't posted it yet, don't hold back. Don't hide, leave a comment below. Happy holidays to you too, Kelly. Wonderful, you're here. Breathe and connect to my higher self. Wonderful takeaway, thank you. Thank you for all your gifts, your wisdom, and your caring. Thank you. I thank you. You're very welcome. To relax and being able to feel the third eye intuition. Wonderful. Thank you, Enrique, for sharing that. Candace is saying, stay calm. It's not necessary to be so dramatic. I love that, Candace. Yes. Take the pressure off. Take the drama off. Relax. Enjoy love. So Anne is saying, take a few moments for myself throughout the day. Yes, oh my God, so good. Best takeaway ever. You gotta do that every day, especially on a stressful time like this. Melissa is saying, takeaway is reconnecting with myself when I'm stressed by focusing outward. Lots of love, happy holidays. Thank you for sharing. Takeaway, breathe. Yes, fantastic. Okay, if you're just jumping in, go back, watch the replay. Have the most amazing week. If you're celebrating Christmas, have the most amazing Christmas. If you're celebrating the holidays in a different way, celebrate them. If you're not celebrating at all, have the most incredible week. Just to give you an idea of what I'm doing, just for tomorrow, I'm gonna start with going to the gym, I'm gonna get a massage, I'm gonna go to the spa and get a manicure and pedicure and gonna meet friends in the evening and the rest of the days are gonna be just the same and on friday i'm actually leaving to new year's to go dancing so i'm gonna dance into the new year and i can't wait to see you in 220 to be there with you to help you break free so you can live the most soul infused life you can imagine i love you i appreciate you and I will see you in 2020. Much, 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 much love. Bye. Oh, that's another comment that I want to go. Hey, Natalie, no worries. Watch the replay. Definitely watch the replay. Happy holidays. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, much, much, much love.